What's popping with y'all, man? Um, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> we going crazy, my skin. <laughs> y'all know that? Oh, what's that on your forehead? Why you got that white stuff on there? Yeah, my medicine is clearing my skin up. You see that? We, 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 <laughs> we, hold on, I got my hair, got my little wreath to Enough about me, though. How y'all been, though? What y'all been on? Y'all been all right? Y'all been good as long as y'all, as long as y'all doing what y'all have to do. If you're new here, I, I'll earn your subscription. If you've been here, y'all already know we family. We go crazy on here. Shout out to Tiffin Dale, man. I've been watching him for a minute. He been doing, he used to do like skits and all that. I didn't even know he had to pop the balloon to one of the supporters. Y'all sent me the little moon wham. Hey, re react to the episode five. Say, oh no, we do raw and cut reactions on this way. Rest, in, rest well to Rich Homie Quan. He passed away, y'all. Rich, rest well to Rich Homie Quan, man. Man, bro, one of the dopest rappers, you feel me, to come out of Atlanta, man. But uh, yeah, man, make sure y'all stay prayed up. Keep God first. We're finna get right up into it, man. Let's rub. Contestant will come out. She will introduce herself, uh, say where she's from, age, what she do for a living, and all of that good stuff. And then you guys will turn around when I let you know. So don't no peaks, no cheating, none of that. Everybody got a balloon. You got your two pick. We ready? He, All right, he got contestant it. number one, come on out. How you doing? He got the gold balloons. He get money. <laughs> he Hello. Get money. I'm gonna step up right, right next to me. Okay. Uh, name, age, what you do for a living? My name is Drea. I'm 35 years old, and I work in finance. And I also am an ambassador for my mom's clothing store, The Garment Hive. Okay, okay. Shout out to mom. I like that little family business. Yep. That's love. Okay. Um, what are Thank some you. things you into? What are some of your hobbies? What do you like to do? Um, I love running. I love going to the beach. La Playa. See. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, traveling. Okay. I love going to restaurants, like cool new restaurants. All right. Um, and last but not least, before we have the guys turn around, what's one thing that's on your bucket list? Bucket list. Um, go to Greece. Okay. I love it. I love it. All right, fellas. Right now, I'm going to have y'all turn around and meet contestant number one. Hello. <laughs> no pops? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's good. That's good vibes. Okay. We got one pop. Oh, um, shoot. That's all good. Your sweater's nice. <laughs> all right, let's go down and uh, see why pop. Uh, name, age, and what you do for a living? Um, um, my name's Slug Sosa. I'm 23, and I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. I have a business, um, doing content, working, school, a lot of shit. So. Okay. And why did you pop your balloon? Um, you seem like a nice girl, but you probably too nice for me. You know. Okay. All right. Well, um, are you into more like like the the mean type? And what do you mean too nice for you? Okay, like, um. Like jittery, like uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like white girl, nice. If that okay. that, that ain't racist, you know. Type okay. time. All right. Um, white girl, nice. All right. Uh, would this be someone? <laughs> Tip it down. I can tell you the whole thing. Like, like, wait a minute. Look, I'm twenty three. I, 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 I'm, I'm blaming on no age. We both the same age, but what you mean too nice? <laughs> Wait, what you mean two dice? I like them nice. I don't want no, I don't want Brock Lesnar. What I want Brock Lesnar, Kane Velasquez. I want a crazy haymaker. Like, what are you? <laughs> have you seen him out? Like, if he approached you, would you give him the time of day, talk I to did. him, chop it up? I would. Okay. Yeah, you're you pretty, though. You're very pretty. Thank I like you. your skin tone, oh your dress. You, you can't fly. I'm Thank fucking you. with it. Thank you. what's wrong? Thank you. All right, though. All right, appreciate it. Come on, let's uh, backpedal on to the front. Um, all right, we didn't make it far. <laughs> pop, pop. Right. Right. Name, age, and what you do for a living? Uh, Najee, barber, uh, I'm 34. Okay, why'd you pop your balloon? Unfortunately, because she's older than me. Dang. Okay, you know, you know. You're 34, Dang. bro, bro. <laughs> I swear, bro. This is what we're gonna pause. A, my bad. This is my react. If you want to go see the original video, shout out to Tip and Dale. I always shout out every YouTuber who do these videos. I either speak it or sometimes I might forget to put it in the description. But Tip and Dale, a real legend on YouTube, been going crazy on YouTube for a minute. Go watch his channel. Pop the balloon. Episode five. Tip and Dale, South Florida edition. 
He said he's 34, she's older than me a year, bro. I just did a video, Dr. Barrett, right? Oh, Dr. Barrett, she's 41 years old. She said she don't mind talking to someone who's 27, late 20s. Because you have to understand, bro, age is a number, bro. As long as y'all are in the same generation and grown, I don't see the problem. I do not see the problem. As long as the maturity level is there, y'all both compatible. A year older is crazy. She's 35, you're 34. What? Like, I don't get it. Dr. Bryant, literally. Multi-million dollar woman. And a lot of females go, oh, he's younger than me. He's older than me. I'm telling y'all, that age stuff is going to have y'all, with that age, is going to have y'all literally single. I'm telling y'all. Only date women like, uh, younger than you? Yeah, traditionally. Okay. I... <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, traditionally. You know, yeah. What's your age range normally like of, of dating? 25, 28. 25 to 28? Yeah. Like, like normally. Age. Okay, all right. Yeah. So other than, other than the age? Um, I'm not going to lie, it's the blue hair. The blue hair? Yeah. I'm not really a fan of the, like, all that type of stuff, even with the braids. I'm not really, yeah, I don't really do it. Yeah, I don't. Blue hair color? Yeah, no, like when it's like blue like orange, mm -hmm. now they got chameleon, all type of other shit, M3 <laughs> color, all type of other shit. <laughs> when it's stuff like that, I just kind of steer away. He's working Sally's. <laughs> hey, to be honest, be honest. Just to be honest, be honest. Her age one, they just say that. Why you didn't just say that? Because that sounds kind of creepy. Well, yo, yeah, I'm 34, but I don't mind somebody 10 years younger than me at 25, 24. What does that mean? And of course, that's that's okay as well. That's okay, but it sounds like you like to be control. Like you feel me? Why you want them ten years younger than you? What's wrong with a year older than you? What's up with that? You don't mind a decade younger than you? You thirty four. You don't mind 24, 25, 25, 20, well, nine years. The decade. You don't mind that? That wasn't a problem. You just said what you. You probably didn't like her appearance. Just say that. Be a man. Let him hang. <laughs> <laughs> you know all these M three. Like, <laughs> hey, it's. <laughs> The, the what they do with hair nowadays is crazy. Like they really could do anything with nails and hair, and mm -hmm. but I just don't really be with it. Okay. Like it's just not. I don't. I'm not saying it's ugly or nothing mm -hmm. like that. But I just personally don't really rock with it. Yeah. All right. It's, All right. This is someone you find attractive, or you like? If you, if you seen him out and he uh, approached you, would you give him the time of day? I would. I think he's dressed nice. Okay. I like the pants and the t-shirt. Yeah. The put solid, it on. So you put that on. <laughs> Thank oh. you. <laughs> uh, let's take it back to the. Oh, oh shit! Well, so uh, who was that? It was you? Okay. All right. Um, name, age, and uh, what you do for a living? Not you. Um, name's Wesley. I'm 28, and I have an embroidered business. Okay. Yeah. Why'd you pop your balloon, Wes? Um, the age gap. It's okay. like seven years. So yeah, that's the. Yeah, it's understandable. What age range do you typically date? I think like, I think I'll do max five years apart. Okay. So that, What's the difference? Yeah. So you do five two? years down, five years up, like yes. that's, that's the range. Yes. What's the difference from another two? I can see if it's like okay, seven years younger. If if I'm 28, let's just say uh, it was 10 years. That's 18. Let's just say you don't want to. But then even that's not like, bro. I don't get it. I can see seven if you're 25 and you don't go seven years because she's just out of high school. She'll be 18, and if that's five years or seven years, she would be 16. I get that. That makes sense. But if you're 30. Five years, she's 25. What's the difference? What's the problem? She's not no more smarter if just because she's two years older. If she doesn't have no type of wisdom at 35, if she, just because the guy is 46, doesn't make him more wise than somebody who's 37. I say that all the time. Or doesn't mean they're more mature for you. I say that all the time. I got into a, 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 a little debate or a little bit, you know, picking each other's brain with somebody. When we're having that discussion about age and the age gap on why it's valid for people to not date younger. It's like it's it's valid if if you know they're talking about maturity. But if someone's mature, that doesn't justify you not oh the age, oh yeah, no, you 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 know, you're you're too young. What's the difference from me being twenty eight and thirty eight if you twenty if you're thirty? I'm twenty eight, oh you're two years younger than me. This guy thirty three, I'd rather talk to him, but his maturity level is so and you still having problems, you're still single. But the fact I was 28, mature, everything checked the box, but I was just two years younger than you, so we're not gonna be together. It's <sighs> out here, y'all. Okay, cool. All right. Other than age, is someone you see, uh, see okay, hey. attracted? Like, yeah. if you saw her out, and y'all with the same age, around the same ballpark, would oh, you yeah. approach? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. All right. You're beautiful. All right. Thank How you feel about you. Wesley? I think he's handsome too. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. We got three balloons left. Uh, what's what's um. 
some of your deal breakers in a relationship. Uh oh. And then uh, after you state that, we can go down and ask a question <laughs> for the guys. Um, sunglasses on a dating show. Okay, I'll let you finish. <laughs> Why did the guy at the end have the balloon around his growing? <laughs> he said you can pop it. <laughs> and he smiled. <laughs> Um, if you don't like dogs, because I have a dog, and I love dogs. What kind of dog you have? A Pomeranian. Okay. The best. You love a dog. Shout out to Max. <laughs> I'm going to show him this video. The dog. Okay. Um, also, if you've been married Hi. before, and if you have kids. Sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Good. All right. All right, cool. And then uh, we got two balloons left. We're going to see why he popped, um, which I think I, I know why. Uh, let's, let's just go to him real quick. Name, okay. age. Jeez, Name, age, what you do for a living. And uh, uh, Gary, 34. I'm in healthcare. I'm a nurse. But. Why'd you pop? So if, if we're talking about style, I, I can understand what you're saying. But you dress nicely as well. I like your nails, your toes, your outfit. But the only thing that's bugging me, if, if you want to talk about me with the shades, is just the shredded denim. I'm not really digging that either. So if you're just going to be honest about fashion, then that's my critique on, on fashion. Just, just wear a regular crop top denim. That would probably look better on you, respectfully. Okay. You know? Thank you. Right. And Gary, um, she did come at him first. besides the glasses, if you saw him out with just someone, you'd be like, oh, he would get like a, a double look. I think that he is handsome. I just, I don't know why the guys wear the sunglasses on the dating show because you can't see their eyes. So, mm -hmm. but that's that's it. Okay. But other than that, everybody's handsome. I just want to let y'all know that. So All you right. did good. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. So do you have a? We got two balloons left. Do you have a question for the, the two um, guys remaining? Oh my gosh. Uh, can you tell me something interesting about yourself? All right. Name, age, what you do for a living, and something interesting about yourself. Okay. My name Alsi. I'm 36. <laughs> And um, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a songwriter, recording artist, podcast host, and radio personality. Okay. That's what you do for a living, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what you do for a living. I feel like she still wants something even more yeah, interesting. Yeah, like about you. Yeah. yeah. What's something like, someone doesn't know about you? Like that they couldn't just go to your, your socials and, and, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um, something somebody don't know about me. I'm big. I'm big. I'm a, I'm big on uh, why I started like a couple years ago meditating. So okay. like you know what I'm saying. I, I'm into like nature, meditating. You know, grounding myself, putting my feet in the sand. You know what I mean, in the grass. You know. And when I tell people that, they, you know, people don't guess that about me. Okay. I love it. Cool. Right, let's check them out. Yeah. Name, age, what you do for a living, and something interesting about yourself. Open up to the camera. Let's see. Uh, my name is Akeem. I am 33. And what I do for a living, I'm self-employed. I'm a personal trainer, also a private events uh, bartender. And um, something interesting about me, I'd probably say that I'm really into the arts. And one of the arts uh, styles that I really like is uh, Japanese animation. So you'll find me on a weekend, Saturday or Sunday, I'm at the beach and just reading my favorite manga at the time. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, cool. Okay. So, um, really quick, we're gonna we're gonna keep it right here. Do you guys have a question for her? I do. No, your balloon has been yeah, popped already. Been popped. But mm -hmm. go ahead. You can, would you like to hear his question, even though his balloon's popped? I will give you the the decision on that one. It was at this moment he knew. I mean, not really. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, do y'all have a question for her? Mm. I know you said you know, a man with kids is a deal breaker for you. Do you want kids yourself? Do you want to know if I had kids, or do you assume that I mm. that I don't? That's a good question too. Nah, my original question. Okay. Do you want kids? I do. Okay. Yeah. You have a question? I do. Okay. All right. You look very nice, by the way. Thank so you. Let you, know. you too. Um, I think my question for you is: uh, you come off very stunning. You're 35, right? Thank and I just you. wanted to know what would be the reason why you're here on this dating show. Because I feel like if I were to see you on the street, I'm automatically assuming you're married and you had a happy husband at home. Oh, my so, gosh. What Thank brings you. you here today? Um, I haven't had a lot of luck. Okay. I'm looking for someone who has an active lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for someone who's emotionally available. Okay. 
I'm looking for, is, is this answering the question okay? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm also looking for like someone that's loyal, okay. um, someone that's confident, mm -hmm. and someone that is not afraid to dance. So based on my list, I haven't found like so all of it in all one. Boxes. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to piggyback on something I was mentioned earlier. Do you have kids? I do not. You do not. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. Yeah. I like her. And it's not, I'm, I'm talking like, she's, as she's talking, right? As she's going, she's like, is this answering it well? Like, am I on the, just to ensure or like, get, I like a, am I answering this the way you would like me to answer? That's a, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful trait right there. That's nice. I thought for a twist of that one a little bit. <laughs> All right, so just real quick, since we're here, I'm going to bounce your same question off of you. So you can just answer your own question towards her. Why am I on the dating show? Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I pretty much did the same thing. I haven't found anybody that check off my boxes, so I'm stepping outside of my boxes. It's not something I would typically do. I like the more of a in person. If I'm walking somewhere and I meet someone, I compliment them, trying to get their name, number, and then go from there. But I uh, figured I'd do something different. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Let's go back and see why uh, this gentleman popped. Um, what happened in that short period of time that made you want to pop your balloon? Um, I think uh, as far as like hearing uh, what she's looking for mm -hmm. um, or why she hasn't found it. I feel like, uh, I don't know, kind of going back to also when I said what I do, you know, I feel like it wasn't like a good like reaction to it, you know, just as far as like my entrepreneurship. Um, and then the kids thing, you know, it's kind of like when I asked about it, I feel like you know, you threw it back, you wasn't like being like straight up. You know, kind of when I asked you like, do you have kids? And then you was like, you wanna, you know, you kind of changed the question a little bit. Well, no, you, you, didn't had, you ask asked me her uh, if, she, if, she, if you wanted kids. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Like, what are you talking about? You didn't ask her that. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, like, I'm so, that's why cameras is amazing. That would have been an argument if nobody was coming. I didn't say that, I did ask that. Camera right on, that's why I looked just now, so y'all know. Real raw reaction. I'm not one of these reactors. No. He no. I'm telling you, bro. The commit. I'm telling you. I'm so glad. Shout out to Tippendale, Arlet, all these YouTubers who's doing this show because it's showing, bro. People listening skills and people critical. All that. Oh yeah, nah. You didn't. I didn't say boom boom. Or yeah. Oh, you did. What he say? Oh yeah. When I asked you, you didn't even ask her that, bro. You didn't ask her. Yeah. Mm -mm. It wasn't you, buddy. <laughs> it wasn't you, buddy. <laughs> that wasn't you, buddy. It wasn't you. So she wanted kids, and then she's she like, how do you know I don't already have kids? And then, right, uh, right, yeah. right, right. And right. you said, still my original question. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. kind of like a straightforward person. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like, if I ask a question. Next. Get married. Yeah, next. Have kids. Next. All the above. Okay. All right. Um, any, any questions for her? Uh, my question. No, I don't. At this present time, uh, would you guys, would, would, would you see him as a match and potentially want to go out on a date, get to know she each other a, a little more, go a little further, get to know each other? I, so, do you live here? I do live in Miami. I live in Virginia. Okay. Are you opposed to long distance? I am. Okay. Well then. <laughs> All right. Wait. I got All to. Right. Wait, wait. How did he do that? It was on his shirt? Is it a magnet? I got the pop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, sorry we couldn't. Uh... To long distance? I am. Okay, well then. <laughs> All right. Oh, he put it in the hole. I got All to. All right. I got the pop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, sorry we couldn't uh, find you a match today. Oh, yeah. um, maybe I'll come to the DMV soon and I'll shoot a pop the balloon or find love up in the DC, Maryland. Slash Virginia area, and uh, maybe we can find your match then. Okay. All right. Thank All you right. so much. Thanks, guys. Right. Thank you. Get that mic up. Oh, oh yes. Sorry. Appreciate you. <laughs> How do you feel about the lineup? Um, everybody was handsome. Everybody came dressed yeah. nicely. R and B, hip hop, and no, I know how you two look. Tip me there, you're a real legend. I'm not skipping it. You know what I mean? I just know the the the, the eye of the beholder. The, the the you know about the audience retention. You know what I mean? On this channel, they like get straight to it. They don't even like me talking half the time. I'd be having to let them know.
And for a living, I'm a music artist. I work at a music school and a nonprofit for kids. Okay. Awesome. Uh, what kind of music do you do? R&B, hip-hop. All right. Rob, pop. Rob's. Good, good. What's two or three deal breakers in a relationship? Um, I would say one deal breaker would be if you have kids, if your relationship is not handled. Okay. So they can have kids, but you just want them to have a, a handled relationship. Absolutely. Can you put a, a brief definition on handled? <laughs> I know, because I never thought of how to yeah. say it, but right. just basically that you have a good cordial relationship, you know, the better you guys are as co-parents, the better it is for the kids, the better it is for the family. Okay. So, so no baby mama drama. Right. Or minimal, because sometimes it comes with drama, that's life, but mm -hmm. if it can be, you know, respectfully dealt with, you know, where I don't have to be involved or mm -hmm. anything like that. Okay. What do you like doing for fun? <laughs> for fun, I make music. Honestly, I really do enjoy making music, and the fact that I can make money from it is a plus. Um, the fact that I do make money from it is a plus. Um, outside of music, for fun, um, I'm an adventurous person. Um, I like to do anything that's fun. I'm a fun person, so wherever I go, I'm going to do my best to have fun while I do it. You okay. know, Anything that's fun and right. make me laugh. Make you laugh. That sounds great. All right, guys, I'm going to have you turn She got on the Dora Dora uh, intro. Uh, so man, she got the Nickelodeon, the, like that Dora Dora, the flowers, the old, the OG, uh, Dora Dora Explorer, Dora Dora Explorer, the, uh, oh man, the, flower, the flowers on there, bro. Mm -hmm. Round and meet contestant number two, Joy. Mm -hmm. God damn. All right. We got two pops. We're going to go up and see why these uh, men pop. Name, age, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon. My name is Alcy. My name is Alcy. I'm 36. Uh, I'm also a recording artist, writer, uh, podcast host. Y'all on the same page, kind of do the yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. That don't I mean, mean yeah, yeah. I'm more so like, you know, I try not to, in my field, not date, seriously date in my field. Okay. I, I try to keep it professional. You know what I'm saying? And I've done it. It hasn't worked. I was about to ask you, because that's yeah. something you've done before. I've done it before. I've what done were some it. of the dilemmas? What, what was the... <laughs> Man, um, bumping heads. Just, um, you know, we have artists. We do got strong personalities. You know, so sometimes we, you know, we in the forefront of things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, your counterpart, when they do the same thing, they don't know when to fall back sometimes. Mm. Okay. You know, so I've encountered that a lot. And... You know, like I said, it's been more successful when I've had business relationships in my field than a romantic relationship. More successful, more productive. More productive. Okay. Um, have you ever things get in the way? They get, you know what I'm saying? Once you get emotionally involved with someone in your business, then you know what I'm saying? They be, you know, they want to come on set and you know what I'm saying? Tear shit up. And <laughs> What's wrong? No, you have it all twisted. That's the one you dealt with. Like, is, how old is bro? How old is, wait, not even like that, but like, I don't be getting it. Like, how could you, your situation with a particular female doesn't apply to everybody in your field. Just because I had a bad situation, because it doesn't matter who you get with, they can still come to your spot and tear it up. They could still want to be in your business, even though they don't know it. So that makes no sense to me. If anything, it makes more sense to get with somebody who are in your field that understands you may have long hours in the studio and may not be able to come home at night. You in the studio, or you trust that I'm in the studio. I can do these recordings. I can't, hey, babe, I'm on the trip. In fact, you can actually come with me because you know how to conduct yourself in this situation just like I do, rather than someone who's never been in that field, who don't know how to act around corporate or around the artist or around a podcast cast. You know what I'm saying? It's like some of the things that people, it's just excuses to reason. Just say, I don't get it. I would love to be with a fellow YouTuber who understands, hey, babe, I'm editing right now. I may be editing or filming for a good two, three hours. That's why my phone is on Do Not Disturb. Oh, babe, filming right now. Okay, I understand. Or he may have someone in his mind. He got a video coming up. I, I understand that pressure. Or I understand that. It's a difference. That's why a relationship, we relate a lot. That's why I don't be getting, I understand it, like, I, I, I can see why, but it's a lot of perks to it, too, where it's, like, on a good end. It's cons as well, but, I mean, I don't know. The ways it is, I don't know, bro. I just don't feel like, I feel like if it was somebody, like, 
he rap, he make music. So you mean to tell me if one of your, your, your the, the prettiest rappers in the world, not saying she not pretty. That's not what I'm saying. I know how y'all get in the comments. I'm talking, speaking on his behalf. Just say that. Like, okay, but you may not be my type. But the fact, you mean to tell me, what's the pre one of the pre? They say for Rihanna wanted him. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting with Rihanna because we both make music and that a kind of. Stop it. She ain't said Rocky Rihanna work well. We both in entertainment. Listen, long live Nip. Him and London, late Lauren London was amazing. She does acting. They both in the entertainment field. It's about the person, the people in the relationship. Let me stop yapping. Let's, let's get back to the video. I know y'all get, you talk too much. Hey. My supporters, my loved ones, they love me. If you don't like my effing, go figure it out. <laughs> okay. Um, well, have you ever dated in your field before? Slightly. Like someone that does something that you've done? Slightly. How did that work out? Or did it work? It was fine. It, nothing about being in the same industry was the issue. If anything, that made it better. Because mm -hmm. it, Damn, bro, I never watched this, bro. Right here, I swear I never watched I'm telling you I never did, bro. Please check. Because a lot of y'all, bro, you be showing the money up to you. Like you. I swear I never watched Put that on my, bro, I can't do that. Because that's what I said. I can't do that. But, but, bro, I'm telling you. More understanding there. Come on. Okay. There's more ability to compromise there. Come on. You know? Right. You're not you. jealous because you know what comes with being an artist or an entertainer or somebody who works with a lot of the opposite sex. Thank you. Know? you. Is this someone you would uh, be attracted <laughs> to if you saw him out and he approached you? Probably not. Um, why not? What, what about him? I'm just not physically attracted to him. All right. What about him physically? Are you not uh, attracted to um, I like guys that are usually like my height or taller. Okay, how tall are you? Really taller, like five seven without heels. Okay, so you did around like what's what's like the cutoff? Like five eleven. Five eleven. Five ten is like a stretch. Okay. I'm be honest. All right. All right. <laughs> how tall are you? Five nine. Okay. All right. That's All right. Hell. All right. That's You're not five nine. <laughs> You're not five nine. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're five nine. Five seven. Five six. Maybe, because that's her without heels. Imagine him with heels on. It should be, it should be as her height. <laughs> come on now. Um, come step back. back. Right. Name, age, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon? Najee, 34, and I'm a barber. Okay. Why'd you pop? Um, I just didn't see it as a match when once she said she was in the music industry. Mm -hmm. And, like, just for all the things she just explained why it could be. You don't know. Why it could help would be probably the reason why it would hinder for me. What? Okay. So yeah. why her being in the music industry? Why is that a red flag for you? Um, not to say that it's like a red flag. That's it's more to say like I need a woman that just has more time for me. Mm -hmm. Honest, like I, it's not like it's no knock on it. I'm not saying she's a hoe or anything like that. I'm just I know what it entitles. You gotta blood, sweat, and tears, and if you're not already where you want to be, you got to put the sacrifice in. And that is I, a fact. I'm going to come second. Okay. Not necessarily right. second, but right. that is a fact. You do have to put a lot of time and effort. Okay. Um, is this someone you would be attracted to? If you saw him out, he approached you? Perhaps. Perhaps. All right. And besides the... looking guy. Okay. And besides the work and what she does for a living, if she didn't do that, if she was, what do you like? I mean, she's a nice woman. She seems like a nice girl. But, yeah, that would be a deal breaker date one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that would be it. All right, all right. Appreciate you. Interesting, okay. interesting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like, what's the, in the, in the no, interest? No, it's just, it's just interesting because, you know, he said from day one that mm. would be an issue without even actually getting a chance to see what my lifestyle is actually like. Right, to see what your day-to-day -day is. Right, because there are different types of artists. There are artists that work behind the scenes, mm -hmm. that write, and that's some of the things I do. Mm -hmm. And then there's artists that are always having to be outside. Touring on stage. I do right, both. So, so but just before we even get into more uh, premature pops, uh, what kind of artists are you? Like, how, how, what's your day-to-day -day or your week-to-week? -week? What's, what's your workload normally like being an artist? Um, well, one of the things I do is I do some voiceover work. So sometimes I have like an hour I have to go record. Mm -hmm. And then right. another time I'll be working on my own catalog. So I'll probably do that once or twice a week when I'm in motion. And then if if I'm promoting something, I might have a video one day. But these are all things that are time blocked. You know, okay. you make your schedule how you see fit. And then there's other times that I'm 
just behind the camera doing sync work where it's like for TV and film. So I'm not outside like that. I'm just kind of writing, you know, or doing demos for other people to sing. It just really depends. So there's no like set in stone way that you can kind of know how an artist is going to be unless you know what kind of work they're actually doing. Everybody's an artist nowadays, you know, but there's different tiers to it. There's levels to this. There's levels. (laughs) <laughs> All right, perfect. There are levels. All right. Well, come on. Let's see why he popped. Uh, name, age, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon. Uh, my name is Slug Sosa. I'm 23. Um, oh, what I do, I'm an entrepreneur. I go to school. I do music. I'm going to be doing content very soon. So, yeah. Um, the reason why I popped the balloon was, um, yeah, you rap, and you say you like to have fun. Who said I rap? I mean, you make music, right? Oh, you mm-hmm. make music. I do. Okay, and your set and be turn, it be it be lit. You be lit. When you say lit, like, lit. what exactly are you getting at? Because again, there are tears to litness. Um, like you know how to have fun. You know how to like, like I'm a ball of I'm a, I'm a ball of light in the room. So, mm-hmm. how I see it, if you one of those. I wouldn't want to get intimate on that type of timing with you because of the, I don't know, I feel like it gets in the way of real friendship. So it's like, hmm. you know. Interesting. So, so you're saying you'd be too much of the same? Yeah. Interesting. You feel yeah. like you'd be competing for Not really competing. Energy. Yeah, not competing for energy. It's more on the time of like, I, I, I want to see how you vibe, what your energy like, how you turn up. Cause I'm, I like to have fun, and then you older than me. So it's like, imagine if me and you in a relationship or something like that. I don't need no second mama. You know what I'm saying? So no, no second what? Second mama. I'm so you assume that because a woman is older than you, that she's gonna act like your mom? That's the maturity. See, that's the maturity level. When you ain't mature enough, you don't under like what? Huh? I mean, off experiences, yeah. Hmm, interesting. They don't, they don't, they don't really like care about their young age or whatever, oh. so they be trying to grow them up too quick, oh. not letting them experience life. Wow, or that's that's why he ain't ready for that, and that's okay. People treat you how you present yourself. People treat you how you present yourself. I had, I had, I, I, I didn't talk to people in their thirties. I didn't talk to people with kids. Like, just chop it up, like, you feel me, on some, like, courting. And I've never felt like they was my mama. I'm a grown man. 23 years old. I only got one mama, Cassandra Jones. And she wouldn't mind me saying her name. She's beautiful. Love you, mama, if you watch it. Probably not. She she be busy. Mom's got her. She got, like, a whole. She, she, she singing and all that. But it's still what I'm saying. Like, you... It's how you carry yourself, bro. And that's one thing my mom raised me. That's like, I be seeing y'all in the comments like, oh yeah, you got a lot of wisdom, blah, 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 blah. Number one, that's God-given. A lot of people can't, I can't even give my mama all that credit. My mom raised me as a great young man. Great young man. Showed me things and put me through things. And, and I appreciate her for that. But I give God all the glory when it comes to wisdom and knowledge that I got. And I obtain because that's, he blessed a blessing. I give God all the glory. And I be understanding that a lot of the times, you project. So when he say like, oh yeah, you treat me like my mama or like, you know, it's how you presenting yourself. They, you, you, you may be coming off as a little boy. I'm not even trying to dish no net to nobody. It's just, that's how you, like, like even players, like if players, if, if you outside and a female's coming up to you and she easy and she present herself as a harlot, nine times out of 10, you're going to treat her like one. A female, you'd be like, you play, oh no, you be like, I'm about to go talk to her. Yeah, now nah, she bad. She got her stuff together. Look how she moving. You ain't gonna come at her with that same. Let's go get a two for twenty. You're not gonna come at her with that, cause she don't carry herself like that. It's about how you carry yourself, bro. It ain't got nothing to do with your age or just cause she older than you. Women respect a man, bro. No matter what age, you got women who get with dudes who older than them that they treat like a little boy, but they make that little twenty seven year old pulling up in that joint. Real noble character, having his stuff together. He got certain things to do. His lifestyle, besides the finances, is different. He's on time. He got this going on. Mentally, he here. He got wise counsel. He got stuff. He he got a solid foundation, a source. They going to treat that man with respect. And if they don't, they going to see how he treat. It's about how you, you feel me? Sounds predatorial. 
little, wow, well, I'm not a predator at all. But, <laughs> no, that's cool. Disclaimer. <laughs> No, nah, but <laughs> not me. <laughs> yeah, if you if you a vibe and you fun, you know, I'm the type. I'm gonna say you get your group, I get my group, and let's go have fun and turn up and be outside. So nobody ain't no feelings, no animosity, no extra energy in the mix. You know. That's I don't it. really know, but I, I respect <laughs> everything you're saying. Okay. I, All right. So just a, um, by first glance, would this be someone you find attractive if you saw him out? Um. If he yeah. approached you. Yeah, I mean, he's, you're a handsome guy. You're cute. I don't think I would just because I could tell that you're young. Um, and I like men my age older. So, okay. you know, but you seem like a nice young man. You're in school. That's great. Stay in school. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. All right, let's backpedal it to the front. What did I say? <laughs> no, 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 no. What happened? You had a giggle? Okay, I just, yeah, because... <laughs> Come back, come in, come on. She said it was interesting, and she like did the mother thing right there. Did like, I? She was like, "Oh, you're in school, okay." Because I wouldn't. <laughs> My dog also says he's an entrepreneur. He do music. You just bypassed all that and went straight to mommy. Mode I didn't with. bypass it. I just complimented him for being in school because being. That's exactly what she did. What do you mean? That's the little boy in him at 34. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you because I didn't pick that up as oh she's doing the mommy thing. What? She said, oh, you're cute. Stay in school. That's all she said. That's good. Stay in school. She's been talking like that with everybody with the long, oh, yeah, okay. She's been doing that the whole time. I can see if she did a little pee you. Oh, you're just a little boy. I can see if she's a little boy, though. That's crazy. In school is a decision you have to make. Just, oh, it, just, <laughs> it just got... <laughs> Life comes at you fast. What? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Right. It's like All a right. dagger to my heart. All right, come on, let's step back. Um, and we're coming right back to you. Um, name, age, uh, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon. Because another sorry. man, another man says something. Wow. The audacity. But continue. The fact that you didn't really see that is insane. What? But. Me? Okay. I didn't see it? So, um, wow. I'm 34. I'm Gary. I'm in health. Y'all, 34 and 30 whatever, and you act five. Y'all act five years old. Get it together, bro. And I don't even usually do that, but y'all look childish up there, bro. They look childish. Shout out to Tip and You can tell he's sitting there like, you can tell as the host, he's just like, there, like, this content, we getting this money. He's smart. Tip and Jenny, he's been going crazy on YouTube for years. He know what he's genius. His reaction, I see, I think I've seen like two of his reactions before. Dope. He in line, what is it? What? <laughs> like, what? Care. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a nurse, registered nurse. But the reason why I pop my balloon is because at first, I know you personally. I know your vibe. Your Low energy. key. Low key. <laughs> I love your world that you're in. Aww. The music industry. Me too. You know, thank so you. I'm in that creative world too, so I can relate. She told him, oh, thank you. And he's 34, so she's little boy in you. Because he said, uh, because he called him cute. I'm not problem, but I just want y'all to this think and just see. They really wired. Like, I don't get it. What is the problem? But the fact that Najee opened my mind to you easy, easy. denying that you have that mom energy, and then you, you, you give it, you give it back. Is like denial. I never said I didn't have it. I just said I wouldn't well, you, have it necessarily. To not say you do have it is the same thing as saying you don't have it. In my opinion, that's me. Like if you withhold, if you withhold information, then it's like that's on you. That's not on me. I don't know what you. Don't let them manipulate and flip what you was doing, lady. They, I see what they, they, weird, they. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. They, man, that list lineup is weak, bro. Like this lineup, like the ones who bench me, they weak, bro. I'm not gonna lie, they mentality. And a lot of y'all, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I be seeing where, bro, you're, I'm the most unbiased YouTuber, bro. I call it how I see it, bro. This dude with this do rag, look at, man, this, this with this condom do rag, look, sitting here talking about, oh yeah, I let another man open my eyes about you. You do give mother. First of all, first of all, he told, Oh, girl, the dude, the 23-year-old said, oh, yeah, boom. I don't know if I could boom, boom, boom. I bring my group. You bring your group. That sounds like teenage stuff. We finna go do this teenage thing, this move, boom. 
And she was like, oh, yeah, nah, you cute, but, you know, you just not, we not in the same, you know, the same lane. We not in the same lane, basically. It's not what she said word for word. But basically, we're not in the same lane. Oh, yeah, you go to school, that's okay, you're cute, Bobo, stay in school, that's good. And then he pops. And then he giggles. Oh, yeah, bro, come on. You said like a mom. Then the other dude, like a mom. Then he tells him, oh, that's nice. He She says, oh, oh, it's, that's just her. She ain't little boy niggas. Y'all feel like a little boy. Just say it. Y'all feel like little boys. She's mature. That's what it is. She's too mature. When 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 somebody feel like, oh yeah, he trying to be my daddy or she trying to be my mom. That's because mm, that's how you feel. That's something you feeling. That ain't that person. That person just probably have a natural mature state of mind. That don't mean, oh yeah, you trying to be my mom. She won't try to be nobody, mama. And then he's sitting there like. Don't let them manipulate you. She's trying to... You telling me what you what you want me to know. What? So, that's the only reason why I pop my balloon. Other than that, you fly, you cook. But that's pop it. Go on and pop it. That's Come and not spin on the camera. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Bullet. Go on and spin Bullet. it. Bullet, bill it. Pop it. But that's my, that's my reason. You, other than that, you're a very attractive person to me. Thank it's you. It's just the, the concept. Like, I'm a man on principle and just just understanding. That didn't make this sense to me. This is you're not a man on principle and understanding because you don't even understand why you popped it. You don't even understand why you popped it. You don't even understand. You didn't even understand before a man made you understand when he don't even understand. So what are you talking about? You're a man on principle and understanding. Because if that's the case, you should have popped before all them did. Mr. Man on principle and understanding. Y'all so funny. People is funny out here. And I'm so glad and I appreciate it. I appreciate all these YouTubers who do these videos to show the world. It's really people out here who just insane to me, bro. They be insane to me, bro. Like, what? Um, okay, that was Najee and Gary. Uh, it felt like you just gave kind of like the motherly vibes. Do you agree or disagree? What's your uh, rebuttal kind of response to that? Well, my response to that is I can understand why you feel that way based on what Najee, or is it Najee? What Najee said. No, I could. No, 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 yeah, Well, you no. did pop it off. You no, did pop it off, right. See? That's that little, don't put it on me. I throw a rock high in my hand like a little boy. I'll, I'll tell you, don't put this on me. Look. You did, you did yeah, kind you, of pop you, you it off. All of we've got to be, we've got to yeah. be honest here. Keep it a book. Oh, it's, it's not that, because what he said was that me being older, he has experience with other women where that if they're older, they give off a motherly vibe. And mm. all I said was, hear me, just because she's older, you think they automatically have a motherly vibe. And I, and I didn't say, I didn't confirm or deny that I did or mm -hmm. didn't. But it's not that I didn't notice that he was an entrepreneur or in the music industry. It's just that I, it stuck out that he's in school to me because I went to school when I was 24. He's 23, so I commend that because mm -hmm. usually people graduate by 22, 23, 24. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's like you don't have to be in school. I actually look at that more. More power to you. More power to you. Right. I know people that's 30-something in school. That's not easy when you got bills and kids. or. Right. Can't even pay attention and listen and get understanding. You 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 come at her, then you go in this man ear. You can't even listen and pay attention. Corny, I'm telling y'all, they be 35, 40 years old still acting like they in line getting lunch at school. I'm telling you, bro, it'd be funny. And y'all be like, why you getting I'd be so passionate because bro, it'd be y'all, it'd be niggas like this who really think like it's the bro, it's you. Go look in the mirror, fool. What did you own? The same way I be on these females, the same way I be on these dudes, bro. He tripping. Family, you know what I mean? So I look at that as like, that's a big deal to me. So it's unfortunate that Mr. Gary here felt the need to pop based on that. Mr. Gary is crazy. Um, well, he had his hand raised. Let's come down and, um, and say, see what you had to say. Go ahead. Um, Specifically, not to say like this situation, but um, women, older women, it's like y'all have natural tendencies. Y'all have, um, yeah, tendencies to think, do certain things, you know. Um, and I know a lot of stuff that I don't even think a lot of people know. But it's like I can tell. Like I read energy so quick. So um, 
and I'm very intelligent and people don't, just because I'm young, they'll overlook that, you know, my wisdom. So, like, I had an a older girlfriend or whatnot. How much older, if you don't mind us asking? I think she was, like, um, 27. Okay. 27, 28. Um, Four years. I mean. Five years. I was 21 at the time, though. Okay. So, Six know, years. I mean, that's all right. Okay. It, it, it's just the fact that they believe they superior in certain cases, thinking that they know it all. That is a fact. I've seen you know that. what I'm saying? I have seen that. And don't realize where I done met people where it's like their spirit is like young. They old, but they spirit young. So it's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. they, it clash. It clashes with it. They don't want to accept knowledge and want me to accept it. So it's like, I don't know. I'm very stand up on a lot of things too. I feel what he's saying, but that's not her though. And that's all she was saying. And that's all I like. That's all. It's like okay, like and then the dude next, the dude next to her, the next to him, so animated, and all they balloons popped. I don't get it. You, you don't even want her. You don't even want her, bro. Like, what do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? And I get it. I understand it a lot. It's true. People who's older. I said all that, that too. People who's older. People who is older, they do be. Oh yeah, just because you older don't mean you know everything. Does not mean that. No. So I get. Get the concept of what he's saying, like, but that's not her. And then she didn't give off that motherly vibe. Y'all just met just now. That's why the, when, when the dude next to her said, you just did the mother thing. You literally just proved it. What did she do by saying what? That's cute. Stay in school. Tell me, bro, you can't make it up. They project all the time. So Interesting. How do you feel about that? I don't feel anything okay. about it. That's his, that's his experience. That's his experience. That's wonderful. I'm glad that he's perceptive right. and knows that he wants someone that's not older. That's good. I don't want someone that's too much younger. So, yeah. I so what's your that. cutoff like as far as? Um, I did date someone younger than me once, and he is right. There are certain things that it's like, oh, I know you got to kind of like go through certain things before. Like I wouldn't Growing say anything. Pains. Yeah, like I wouldn't say anything, but I would feel it in my yeah, spirit yeah. deep yeah, down. You didn't answer the question. How young? <laughs> How young? I, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm getting there, if you would allow me. Um, right. Dude, you shut your... Bro, like... Bro, bro she's get like, dang. Like, dang, bro. <laughs> you don't even want her. <laughs> like, you... <laughs> you don't want her. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, I think the youngest at my age now, I just wouldn't. I don't think I would go. I don't think I would go any lower at this point. And that's what messed it up for me. Because <laughs> of them. We're, I'm telling you, bro, a lot of good women, I don't know if she's good, bad, uh, I don't know. I'm just speaking on behalf of just repetition. When, when, when things get repetitive, people are not going to, oh, yeah, how you, oh, you seem like a nice guy, but you're young. I don't even want to deal with it is like, okay, the fact that I'm young is repetitive, but you didn't get to know. You feel what I'm saying? And it's justifiable because she, look at this whole lineup. They're older than her acting like they 15. Only one younger than her is the dude. And he ain't even, tri what's so crazy about it? The younger guy is not even tripping. He ain't even going up like that. It's still, it's the, he's 34 years old doing a, <laughs> And look at the guy back there with the with the with the with the do rag on his head, whispering. He just letting other men tell him what to eat, <laughs> letting other men pick his clothes. Oh yeah, because he said this, I'm going to do this today, Pumpkin. Man, <laughs> he didn't answer the, the regular. How how younger was the guy? At the oh, how younger was he? Yeah, um, like four years. Four years. Like four years. Okay, four oh. years younger. Cause you, it kind of threw me off that when he had said six, six, you were like, oh, that's like you kind of like gave the attitude like uh, that's not that different. Yeah, that's not. Not to me. Six years, that's like, not if, to me. if they in 12th grade, what grade I'm going to be? I'm not going off of the uh, underaged element. I'm going off grown. of the adults and only. <laughs> Say that for the record. Well, agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I ain't so, looking at you if you anywhere near 18. Okay? You got to be at least 22 oh, and so up. I get her. I literally say that all the time. I say, as long as y'all grown... And the same, as long as you're grown, past 21, 21 and up, age should not be that big of a deal as long as you're mature. 30, 40 years is crazy. But like, let's just say 15 to like, okay, for it, you know, and it depends. If I'm 30 and she's 60, what if she a cold 60 piece? 
Ooh. Slim slick head, slim slick head. Man. Well, how did y'all get it, bro? Come on, man. It don't take that much comprehension to get what, what, what we saying. Okay. Okay. I'm not talking about at my age now. I'm talking about back then when I was oh, in my okay. 20s. I wasn't dating nobody. Under, even if I was like 26, I wasn't going below 22. Just because no. I know right, that's cool. we're well, still let's at come down here and uh, Name, age, where you from and why you popped your balloon. Uh, my name is Akeem. Age is 33. Uh, I live, I'm from Toronto, but I live here in Miami. Um, I'm a self-employed. I'm a personal trainer and a private events bartender. And uh, first and foremost, I think you're gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Great personality. Thank you. Uh, the reason why I popped my balloon is uh, shared with some of the men here. It's just like I feel like your business is something that would take a lot of time. And then you did explain it. Um, so I'm glad I didn't pop right away. But even with your explanation, I felt like, you know, that's that's a lot of work, and um, which is amazing. I just feel that with my business and your business, I don't really see us seeing each other that much. Mm. And I like to um, I like to come home and see my wife. Mm. He said wife, meaning ladies. You see the difference in age and explanation. It ain't all the gimmicks. It ain't all the extra. What we do, it don't go. The other dude said in the beginning, well, you make music, I make music. That wouldn't go. When y'all both make music, y'all literally could be in the same place in the same time doing the same thing, even if y'all in a different room. If he does something like work on airplanes and you make music, you may be gone. He want to come home and rest. He doesn't have time to go leave there, come see you in your studio. But when y'all both make music, so I can understand why what she do don't go with what he do. Not saying that he make planes. Because I got to bring it back to those who you said he made. That's not what he said. I'm just using that as an example. If he does something that she don't do and they just both clash, they're not going to grow together. I understand that. Them and him. Tell y'all, bro. You see the difference. Tell you. He ready. He ready. <laughs> ready, ready. I like that. That's good. Um, and they still look. They still how do you feel about this? Somebody you be attracted to if you saw him out? Yeah. How do you feel about his uh, attractive. response as far as your career and, and all of that? Um, I mean, I, I do understand why people have that preconceived notion about being a musician or being an artist, mm. especially being a, a woman in the music industry. Um, it can be time consuming but it is also about boundaries it's not the way it used to be in the 90s like yeah. you can actually work life balance all yeah that. you can make it work like i can decide to not work on saturdays if i wanted to right, right. of course i'm gonna miss opportunities but if i want to that's my prerogative so i think it just depends on who you're dealing with not what they do that you're dealing with that's all <laughs> um but i don't i don't see anything wrong with having that um assumption it's normal um I would naturally have that assumption if I didn't know any better, mm -hmm. right? But I think that's the key to when you get to know somebody and get to know their lifestyle. You get to see how they really are despite what they do. Okay. You know. All right. All right. Let's go back and see why uh, I first got popped. Name, age, what you do for a living, and why you popped your balloon. Um, Wesley, I'm 28, and I have an embroidered business. Um, the reason I popped is the same thing as everybody said. Um, the the, in the music industry, because I, I did videos before, like um, skits and stuff, and then just like me dating other people, they can't handle that, and I, I literally got out of it, and then I'm starting to, like, to realize that, yeah, it's like you have to really be, like you have to really stick by that because you're, you're assuming everything, there's, there, and there's stereotypical things that happen, like, you know, they might, you know, do things behind the scenes you don't know, so it's just a lot of things. So, are you projecting your experience to what I could possibly do? Because I just, uh, <laughs> I just said they be projecting, bro. I'm, t bro. I'm, t bro. I do not, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. I wish, I wish my sister was here. They know, bro. I do blind reactions. All my OGs know I do. I don't do that thing. Learn from Saluminati, DJ Ghost, Flight Reacts, all the OGs in the game. You don't ever do blind. That's that's not real. I just said, um, it's real. They be projecting. They be projecting, bro. They do. They do. They do. The things that happened with you in your relationship. They do. She's asking, are you projecting your experiences? Uh, no, I'm just saying, I just know what can happen with other uh, other people. I'm not projecting. I'm just saying, like, I don't even want to even, like, I want to prepare for that. So just, like, just not even get to that point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to hit it with an interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not that interesting. Okay. It's, um, it's pretty common at this point. All right. And, uh, 
<laughs> Besides the career, would this be someone you would be attracted to or approach if you were out? Um, sorry, uh, how, old you, how, how old are you again? I'm 31. 31? Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah that'll... She's 31. 30, the dude who's 34 is older than her and act like her little brother. She seems more mature than that man at 34. At 34. And trust me, bro, I don't be out here like I'm just the most mature. Because I got stuff I got to work on, on me. I got stuff I'm still immature at. Like, it's, it's, I'm just not overall mature. Like, just, okay, a certain thing. Like, because it's experience that you got to you gotta work on certain muscles. You feel me? You got to work on certain things in life to get more. I'm, I feel like I'm a fairly mature guy for my age. You feel me? I got things I got to work on, though. I know that. I know what certain things I got to work on. But it's just certain things. As a 34-year-old man, as a man at 30 and plus, 30 plus that you should not be thinking, doing, and moving out. It's no way, bro. No way. Come on, man. And y'all, y'all be mad. Don't be mad at me, bro. Don't be mad at me, bro. You can learn from somebody younger than me. Younger than you. I learned from somebody younger than me. This is dude. I forgot who he was younger. I'm talking about, I was making excuses about why I'm not in where I need to be or doing certain, not even making excuses. I'm there. I, will, I, will, I would think a certain way about where I am in life or do, and this young dude, literally on YouTube, I forgot his name, multi-million dollar dude, went crazy, I mean, just do it. Like, you know, you procrastinate, boo, just do it. It's just certain things like you can learn from, even if you don't learn or they just spark something in you. You can be motivated by anybody. So the age thing, I mean, it'd be crazy to me. People, oh, you're older, man. I don't learn from people younger than me. I learned from my niece. I learned from just people, just you could, a baby. You could learn just the way they just persistent about getting somewhere or getting what they want. But man, bro, I'm telling you, bro, this video right here, I got to do a part two. I think I might end it right here, bro. But at 30, bro, come on, bro. It's time for so much. You somebody uh, would definitely approach. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. How about you? Um, I don't really, you mean like if he approached me, yeah, I mean, I would, give him, I would give him energy. Mm -hmm. I would. <laughs> I'll give him some energy. Why is the do-rag so pressed, bro? He, you all right? <laughs> like, look at him. Huh? How about you? Look at him. Um, I don't really, you mean like if he approached me? Yeah, I mean, I would, give him, I would give him energy. Mm -hmm. I would. <laughs> I'll give we got to do a part two. I can't keep watching, bro. We're going to do part two, bro. He like her. There's something going on. Like he said, oh, yeah, I know her. She was, like, lightweight. Like, you don't know me like that. We have some type of pre what's her name I know her. And he like her, bro. He like her, bro. It's something with it. Because he, calm down. You popped your balloon. What's up with them? Hey, hey, what's up with them, bro? Like, what's going on with them? The 23-year-old wasn't even, the young the young player wasn't even tripping that much. He wasn't, see, you the real see. That's the mom thing I was talking about. He was chilling. Even when he raised his hand, he just gave an explanation of why he said, uh, boom, boom, boom. He just cleared himself up. Everybody else beside him was doing all the <coughs> 30 years old, laughing like a little boy. You feel what I'm saying? Even he wasn't that much tripping. He had when 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 I spoke about being 23 and acting, when you know when you act like that, whatever you present to a female is how they gonna treat you. You feel me? That's why a lot of females can get manipulated from people who know how to be actors. When people, oh yeah, I got this lifestyle and it ain't really like that. I know how to treat a woman and they get bamboozled. So people treat you how you present yourself, even if you ain't really like that. So if you present yourself as a little boy and somebody who don't know what they're doing, they're going to treat you like that. It's that simple. That simple. Simply, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. You think a lot of females, if, if Barack Obama, if do Barack Obama have a son? If Barack Obama had a son who was 25, a 35-year-old, oh, that's the president's son. She ain't finna act, treat him like no little boy. Come on, it's about respect. It ain't got nothing to do with your act. It's about respect. Respect. That's why when dudes see females who be out here on Instagram shaking it for the community, shaking it for the world to see, you ain't gonna treat her like no noble woman. You gonna treat her like an internet piece of cool. That's how you're going to treat her. Simple. How you present yourself is how you get treated. There ain't no pie in the sky. There ain't nothing that just, oh, whoop -dee. Come on, bro. However you, however you present yourself is how you're going to be treated at the end of the day. Literally. Like, come on, bro. As always, put God first. Continue to let him lead and guide you in your life. 
Make sure y'all do not procrastinate. Stay focused. Stay locked in. Um, keep going. I'm with y'all. I love every each and every one of y'all. Each and every one who support me and love me, I love you back. Because a lot of y'all who watch me, I don't know. I, I ain't going to lie. Like, if, if y'all watching me and, I, and you a hater, I don't know. You feel me? I, even, I do love you. You feel me? I got love for you. Man. I got love for you. I got love for you. I'm working on that too. See, the Lord lady, you got to learn. You got to love your enemies too. It's crazy. God is amazing. Y'all got to put him first, man. I know I'm just rambling. I'm trying to get us past an hour. We had like one minute, 17 seconds. We got about something like 30 seconds more of just chopping it up. I'll let y'all know what I've been doing lately. I've been uploading every day. Recently, I just got my what's the names connected, my locks connected. So that's why they look a little thicker if you go back. My, my parts were smaller, so I got them like a little thicker. You know what I mean? Um, go subscribe to my second channel, Xavier. That's my vlogging channel. Oh, um, I know a lot of y'all said, oh, yeah, I don't mind you posting vlogs on here, but um, I really keep this reactions, you know what I mean? Reactions, 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 and have that channel, you know, for like vlogs or lifestyle things. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man. That's what I've been on lately. I'm about to start doing this. Um, I do music, too. I'm just rambling right now. We, you feel me? Shoot, a lot of y'all be wanting to just chop it up with me. Shoot, uh, shoot I'm chopping it up with y'all. So I do music too. Y'all go stream my, uh, just put in Xavier TV on Apple Music. I'll pop up anyway and go stream my, my music. I make good music. I'm not one of them. That's why I don't promote it too much. Cause I just, if you, if you know, you know, if you're interested in me, you watch to this end and screenshot it, put it on your Instagram. I repost it. That's how I know if you're real. Cause you, you watch the whole video. You know what I'm saying? You interested. So if you're interested in music, you like music, I make music and, um, uh, it'll be dope. You feel me? Y'all go show that some love, but I'm up out of here, man.